Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and if you are new then welcome to the channel. So in this video we are going to discuss discrete Fourier transform using DIF that is decimation in frequency fast Fourier transform. That means we are going to perform discrete Fourier transform on a given sequence which is in time domain. So let's consider a sequence which is in time domain. This is the same sequence as I took in decimation in time uh, FFT. So this is the same sequence. We are going to convert it into uh, frequency domain using decimation in frequency fast Fourier transform. So this is of length 4. Now you must know that what is the bit reversal and uh, how we do take the bit reversal indexes of any sequence. So, uh, I think you know it, but even though I'll explain you, let's take index 0, 1, 2, 3. If we take equivalent in binary, we will get 0, 0, and this is 0, 1. For 2, it's 1, 0, and for 3, it's 1, 1. If we take the reversal of this bit, it, we will get 0, 0, then we will get 1, 0, and if I reverse it, we will get 0, 1, and for this, we will get 1, 1. Now, we will convert it into normal decimal form. So, we will get 0, 2, 1 and 3. Now, this indexes are to be taken for the sequence which is in frequency domain. Why now in only frequency domain? Because we are using decimation in frequency. In decimation in time, we took these indexes for time domain sequence. Now, in decimation in frequency, we are going to take this indexes for frequency domain signals or frequency domain sequence. So now, these are taken for capital X of 0, capital X of 2, capital X of 1 and capital X of 3. So, what is the conclusion? The input is in normal order and the output indexes are in bit reversal as it is discrete fourier transform we are going to convert the time domain so time domain is in normal order and the frequency dom domain is in bit reversal so that is the concept now let's draw a butterfly diagram for 4 bit dif fft i will take four straight lines Now, as it is DFT, that means time domain is to be converted into frequency domain. We will take separate butterflies over here and we will, as we go towards the right hand side, we will overlap one butterfly on the another. So, let's draw the butterflies. This represents one butterfly. Here, this is the head, so we will take one. This is the tail, so we will take minus one. Now, this is the second butterfly. This is head, this is tail and the data flows like this now as we go on the right hand side the butterflies will overlap on another so let's take first one butterfly this is the head this is the tail now the another butterfly will overlap on this butterfly so i will take like this head will have one and the bottom will have minus one the data flows like this now I have drawn the butterflies. Now we will consider the input and the output terms. So input is in time domain and it is in normal order. So x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 and x of 3. What is the output? Output is in frequency domain which is in bit reversal order. So x of 0, x of 2, x of 1 and x of 3. Now comes the main part which is the calculation part for stage 1 and the last stage which is, which is stage 2. So let's take the inputs. Input will be x of 0 is 1, x of 1 is 0, x of 2 is 1 and x of 3 is 1 plus j. And output for stage 2 we will calculate it right now. So here we have 1, 0, 1 and 1 plus j. Now from here the data flows 1. From here for the stage 1 we got output as 1 now from here the data flows as 0 and uh, here, from here it comes 1 plus 1 is equals to for this point we got 1 for the third line the data flows 1 plus 1 plus j this is equals to 2 plus j from here the data flows 1 plus 1 plus j into minus 1 that is minus 1 minus j so we will get minus j here we got minus j. 
one more thing i forgot to consider is that means we are going to take w4 of 0 here and w4 of 0 on the we have to consider these terms on the left bottom of the butterflies and uh, this is one butterfly so we took here and this is one butterfly so we took on the left bottom now this is one butterfly so we will take w4 of 0 and for the next butterfly w4 of 1 this value is minus j this e values are 1 so until this we have no problem because these values are 1 only so if we want multiply anything by 1 it will be the same value uh, it would be a problem if uh, I have not considered this uh, for the calculation of the last stage so now let's continue the stage 2 output calculation so from here the data will flow 1 1 into 1 will be 1 and from here it will come that is 2 plus j 2 plus j plus 2 plus j so we will get 3 plus j now for the second line we get 1 plus from here it will come that is uh, this is minus j minus j into minus j so minus j into minus j we will get j square this is equals to minus 1 so we will get minus 1 so this is equals to 0 so this is 0 for the next line the data flows from here that is 1 and from here that is 2 plus j into 1 into minus 1 that is minus 2 minus j this will be minus 1 minus j minus 1 minus j for the last line the data flows from here that is 1 and from here that is minus j into minus j into minus 1 so for minus j and minus j we have minus 1 and if i multiply it with minus 1 we will get plus 1 so plus 1 is equals to 2 so the last output is 2 hence the output of the stage 2 is the uh, sequence of our frequency domain so the sequence is 3 plus j comma this is first index this is the second index and uh, this is second index this is third and this is the fourth index so first we will write this then on the second it will be minus 1 minus j third it will be 0 and the fourth it will be 2 so this is the frequency domain sequence which we got after performing the discrete Fourier transform using decimation in time fast Fourier transform hence this is the DFT output so let's recap what we have learned till now this is decimation in frequency so whatever index of frequency domain sequence is there it will get in bit reversal index so here the input is in normal order which is in time domain and the output is in bit reversal which is in frequency domain after that we drew this butterfly diagrams we took the input that is in time domain output in the frequency domain in bit reversal order and uh, one more thing this is very important which i forgot in the starting but uh, sometime i got it and um, as the value is equal to one only i had no problem so so you must remember that you should also consider these values on the bottom left side of the butterfly and we have took the inputs and outputs and these uh, values and uh, now we have to calculate the output on stage 1 and stage 2 this stage 2 is the final output so we calculated it and uh, we have uh, maintained the outputs in a table so that we will not get confused that uh, what output was there and what data is getting flown on the lines so that's how we monitored the outputs over here in the table and uh, after getting the output we wrote the output in uh, normal order which is this is the rowth index this is first index this is second index and this is the third index value of the sequence so that's how we did the discrete Fourier transform using decimation in frequency fast Fourier transform.